For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a flower chapstick holder perfect to attach to your bag or keychain. You'll need a 4mm hook, three different colors of four weight cotton yarn, a darning needle, scissors, and a split ring is optional. To begin making the flower stem, you'll start with a magic ring and place six single crochets in the magic ring. Pull the ring tight and slip stitch to join. For round two, you'll chain one and place two single crochets in the next six stitches. and slip stitch to join. For round three, you'll chain one and single crochet in the next 12 stitches. There will be no slip stitch at the end of this round. For round four, you will place a single crochet in the next 12 stitches in a continuous round. There will be no chain one and you will not slip stitch. If you haven't already, go ahead and make sure that the right side is facing out. This is a really good time to check to make sure that the stem is going to be the right size for your chapstick. If it's too big or too small, you can either increase or decrease your hook size or change the number of stitches uh, in the first round. At this point, you can weave in your beginning tail. For the remainder of the stem, you will simply single crochet in a continuous round until you reach your desired height. I crochet until there's about a half inch to a quarter inch of the chapstick showing. Check your work periodically to make sure your chapstick is fitting nicely.
Once you've reached the end and there's about a half inch to a quarter inch of chapstick visible, you'll finish with 12 slip stitches. Next, chain 40. and then slip stitch into the opposite side, which is six stitches over from your chain. Cut your yarn and then weave in all of your ends. Moving on to your flower center, with your new yarn, make a magic ring and place seven single crochets in your magic ring. Pull your ring closed, but not too tight. Then slip stitch to join. For round two, chain one and place two single crochets in the next seven stitches. and slip stitch to join. Place 14 single crochets in the next two rounds for a total of 28 single crochets. and slip stitch to end. Weave in your ends and cut off your center tail.
And finally, we will begin working on our flower petals. With your new yarn, attach it in any stitch. Chain three, and then place three treble crochets in that same stitch. Then you'll chain three and slip stitch into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And repeat again for a total of eight petals. So chain three, three treble crochet, chain three and slip stitch into the next two stitches. Leave a long tail for weaving in along the base of the petals. This will help tighten up the flower and give it more of that dome shape.
Once all the ends have been cut off, you have a finished flower. All that's left is to put that chapstick in the holder and pull the strap through the center of the flower. Now you have a cute little flower chapstick holder. If you'd like, you can add a split ring or a lobster clasp so you can attach it wherever you want. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe and follow us on social media. Bye!